Today I'll be presenting to you Severe Combined Immune Deficiency, or SCID, but mo most, is most commonly known as bubble boy disease. SCID is a very rare disease that starts at birth. This means that they have no immune or very little immune system and they cannot fight infections that get into their body. This disease, SCID, is where a person cannot fight off infections. They have no immune system, so if an infection gets into their body, they have very little T cells and NK cells. Both these cells play an important role in the body's ability to fight infections, including viral and cell infections. Some of the most common infections are chronic skin infections, diarrhea, infection of the liver, and pneumonia. SCID is found on chromosome X. This chromosome contains over 1,400 genes. It also contains over 150 million base pairs, of which approximately 95% have been determined. This chromosome represents 2,000 out of 20,000 human genes. The change is caused by a mutation occurring in the XQ13.1, locus of the X chromosome. The locus is in the position in the chromosome where a problem occurs. Most often, this disease affects males whose mother is a carrier of this, for this disorder. XC, XSCID can also arise through the de novo mutations and can be prevented in females by X inactivation. A de novo mutation is a mutation in a germ cell of one of the parents or in the fertilized egg itself. SCID is recessive. The most common type of SCID is inherited in an X-linked recessive manner. In this type of inheritance, the gene is located on the X chromosome, one of the sex chromosomes. Genes usually come in pairs with each parent giving one copy to their child. Recessive diseases are inherited from the parents from their mutated cells. Early diagnosis of SCRD is rare because doctors do not routinely count each type of white blood cell in the newborns. As a result, the average age at which babies are diagnosed with SCRD is just over 6 months. Blood tests for SCRD typically reveal significantly lower than normal levels. The only cure and routine available for SCRD is bone marrow transplant, which provides a new immune system to the patient. Gene therapy treatment of SCRD has also been successful in clinical trials, but not without complications. The only treatment at this time is bone marrow transplant. It is better if a brother or sister can do the bone marrow transplant. This is the best way to get rid of, of SCRD, but most patients do not have a brother or sister that has compatible bone marrow, so they must get it from a parent or unrelated person with the same bone marrow. Clinical trials of gene therapy treatment have been successful, but there are complications with this treatment. Although this is an extremely rare disease, the effects on the person's life that is diagnosed with this disease are severe. Without proper medical attention, this will lead to death. This is why we need more funding to this disease so children can live a happy and long life when they have SCID. These are some of the links I use. Thank you for listening.